Hello everyone, my name is The Clever Fool. Today we will be playing the third episode of Tamerlane, The Harbinger of Destruction, as we seek to get revenge on Toktamish, who basically backstabbed us and then ran away to Russia. The blast of wind intensified, snuffing out some of the torches within the hall. Servants bustled about, tending to the meat roasting over the fire. The scent of cooked birds, game, Mutton filled the air. This was the first time that Tamerlane's forces had ventured into Europe. The winters were harsh, and Toktamish surely hoped that the biting cold and far flung supply lines would prove too much for the wily tactician. The armies of the Golden Horde burned crops and took all they could carry as they retreated. Toktamish knew. Tamerlane would show no mercy. Terrifying reports reached his ears of torched villages and mountains formed from the bones of the slain. Wherever Tamerlane went, it seemed that flock of carrion birds were never far behind. Entire towns surrendered upon hearing of the brutal destruction of one of their neighbors. Toktamish had no choice but to engage the rampaging forces of his enemy. The armies met near the banks of the Kondarcha River sometime during the early weeks of the summer. Crows and vultures circled above the field, an ominous foreshadowing of the carnage to come. Okay, so our main objectives are to defeat the enemy force blocking our way across the icy ford. Our hints tell us that Tamerlane's forces cannot advance past the Castle Age or muster a population larger than 150, probably because of the winter. Utilize the durability of Tater Horsemen and the looting abilities of Keshex to compensate for this. Farming and building docks with ships is impossible in the midst of the harsh Russian winter. Oh, so no farming, huh? Look for other ways to feed your army. Ryazan is renowned for its siege engineers. Perhaps your soldiers will be able to locate plans for advanced siege equipment there. Okay. Your enemies rely on supply stores scattered around the map. Destroying these will allow you to claim the provisions for your own. A secondary Timurid army is marching through the Caucasus to reinforce Tamerlane. Take advantage of its arrival to catch your enemies in a pincer movement. Our scouts report that Tamerlane's army of cavalry in purple has arrayed itself on the eastern bank of the icy Kondorcha River. Facing them on the opposite side is Toktemish's army of light cavalry, cavalry archers, Volga Bulgar horsemen, and Russian infantry. To the northwest lies the Russian city of Ryazan in gray, a dependency of Toktemish. Its army consists mostly of light cavalry and skirmishers led by the local boyars. The city of Astrakhan in orange lies to the southeast, where the Volga meets the Caspian Sea. Its army initially consists of Keshiks and pikemen, but will eventually field Kipchak cavalry and swordsmen. Toktamish's capital of Sarai is located in the center of the map. Sarai relies on an army of Megudai and light cavalry, but may add siege engines to the mix as well. To the southwest, where the Don River flows into the Black Sea, is the city of Azov in green. Azov is defended by bowyers and swordsmen, but will deploy pikemen to counter the Timurid cavalry forces. Across the river from Azov is a colony of Venetian and Genoese merchants in blue that supplies the enemy war forces. Destroying it would be quite a blow to their war effort. The Golden Horde in yellow and the Volga Bulgars in cyan have camps in the west, north, and east of the map. Though initially loyal to Toktamish, they may be persuaded to turn against him given the proper set of circumstances. So a lot, to, uh, a lot to absorb here. Looks like we have a relatively weak gray city across the river. And we have orange, red, and green as our main enemies in the south. And uh, some Venetians uh, that we can kill off later. And then some the Golden Horde and the Volga Bulgars, which may or may not join our side later on. Let's go ahead and get started. Oh, 
We're getting flanked. Run our villagers away. Keep our guys parked on high ground so that we have the advantage. Okay, so it looks like uh, we're able to save a majority of our villagers. We have to keep in mind that we can't farm. We have gravely underestimated the power of Tamerlane's army. Perhaps it would be wise for us to join him against Pokhtamish. Agreed. Let's get our town center up ASAP. Let's actually get a second town center maybe up here. And then start building houses so that we can support additional population. And then have our initial villagers here gather wood. Let's pick up handcart while our pop space is capped out. And have our starting villagers gather wood here. I think I'd like to get a monastery up. This way, uh... I'll be able to heal up the units that I have that survived. Let's pick up Bowsaw to increase our wood cutting capabilities. Let's protect our TC with the cavalry archers. And take down this uh, workshop, which must contain some supplies. And we have more main objectives now. Our main objectives are now to destroy two of Tokhtamish's three power centers in Sarai, Astrakhan, and Azov, and to capture the town of Ryazan in Grey by killing the garrison and defending it. Uh, okay. Destroy enemy storehouses to capture the food stored there, and destroy the Italian... Uh, so we just destroyed a, a workshop there to get the food. I think we got like 500. That's pretty good. Destroy the Italian merchant colony near Azov that is supplying Tokhtamish's forces, and send messengers to parley with the Volga Bulgars and the two chieftains of the Golden Horde. This food will feed many horsemen. We actually got 900 food. Hello. We're gonna want to pick up stone as soon as possible here. Let's go ahead and parley with Teal here and get started mining stone. And the enemies are mostly south, so I'm going to want to be aware of that and get some castles up once I can. To that end, we should put our new villagers on stone and wood so that we can continue building town centers. Let's build some more houses with our villager. Uh, let's back up, back up, back up, back up. I don't want to lose any Keshex here if I don't have to. We want to attack the city of Astrakhan. 
but we have no siege equipment. Bring two siege towers to my camp, and we will join you. Sounds good. So I need to give wood to the Bulgars and siege towers to <coughs> this southeastern horde here. Is that a storehouse? Yes, it is. Let's keep mining stone and producing villagers out of our TCs. And keep up with our economy upgrades here. There should be some fish here that we can pick up as well, which is very nice. Let's build up a monastery so we can get monks out to heal our cavalry that we've got. Let's also grab a blacksmith. And keep pumping out these villagers so we can get wood for getting our allies on here. Let's build a market there. Let's train some monks. We have no gold miners, sadly. Let's change that. I feel like the pathfinding after this update has been, like look at this, the villager pathfinding has been really wonky. Let's start healing, let's start getting our blacksmith techs online, let's pick up coinage so that we pay some cheaper tribute. We want to get a castle up as soon as possible. Preferably on our gold mine, maybe like right here. Do we get a university? No, we haven't. Let's pick one of those. After we research coinage, let's send a thousand wood to the Volga Bulgars. That's uh, player three here. One, two. Let's Many confirm that. We will support your army from now on. We'll be short on food for a while. Let's try to uh, see if we can raid another storehouse somewhere. pick up a siege workshop here so that we can start building the trade towers. I'll grab masonry. We need more villagers on food here. So I'd like to pick up all the cavalry upgrades as well. Build a couple stables. Hit them with a hit and run, and send in our heavy troops and retreat back for healing. It doesn't seem like we need to destroy the entirety of uh, Gray here, just their garrison. We do need food still. Hey. 
Let's keep the raid going. Out of stone here. Let's transition to gold instead. There's actually a stone pile up north. Let's keep going for food. Let's pick up ballistics since it doesn't cost any uh, doesn't cost any food. Start mining that stone up. Oh my god, that's a lot of red units there. We're gonna need uh, murder holes. Sadly, it seems we're going to lose a lot of units here because of their raiding. But we need to get techs up. <coughs> Our cavalry is really underleveled right now. I go for a conversion, perhaps. Let's uh, actually sell ourselves some wood, buy some more food, pick up both these texts, keep hunting, and keep our villagers coming. Actually, probably keep training conics here. Let's pick up silk armor because it doesn't cost any food. I could really use more food, honestly. The waves just keep on coming here. After that wave subsides, I'm gonna need to start thinking about uh, Reinforcements have arrived through launching a counterattack. Ooh, that's a lot of reinforcements. Let's head up north here. Well, we really need to fortify this northern area. I don't think our castles seem to be able to hold by themselves. For much longer here. We need to leverage our wood and gold income to create cavalry archers. We have a decent strike force down no south, but our northern front is uh, pretty rough here. Let's send these guys to repair. We're going to lose a lot of villagers. We've got food. Which is good. Much appreciate it. Even more food. Let's pick up Thumb Ring. Have these guys keep producing cavalry archers. Keep producing villagers down south here. And get ready to come down and try to repair. That is not much HP on our castle here. Out of gold on this side, running really low on resources here. 
build up a ram. Keep training up cavalry archers. Let's grab treadmill crane. And actually try to link up our southern force with our northern force here. Let's see how many guys we can take home. I feel like we're going to lose our southern force pretty, pretty quickly here. We're getting a good amount of scouting information. The pressure here at least is off, off of us temporarily. Let's use this to keep producing cavalry archers uh, and units. Let's take down these wooden towers. Do we have any soldiers up north? Doesn't seem like it, and it seems like we actually lost our entire southern strike force here. I will be the first to admit that I probably didn't use those very efficiently. Let's make sure that we're continuously producing villagers here. I think the conics were provided by the Bulgarians here, which is a nice touch. I don't have too many eco units back there. I would prefer I would prefer to take care of Grey here. They seem weaker. Do we have all the blacksmith upgrades yet? No, we're missing archer tech. That's one villager down. Let's come back in here. Train a couple Keshiks to prepare for that ram. Let's not throw away all of our cavalry archers there. Nice! Okay, we take down the ram, garrison back inside. Take down the ram, then garrison back inside. We're low, again. We're low on food again. Hmm. I agree that it cannot go unchecked. However, for the time being, there's not much I can really do about it. Let's actually get the two siege towers out. And build another couple of siege workshops here. Still on food, but we got plenty of wood for siege equipment and archers. <laughs> We're still super low on food though. So we gotta be pretty careful with our resources here. There's more land to take in the east here, it seems. actually build another castle perhaps uh, right here let's think about taking down this storehouse for some food
These guys are out of stone. We'll want to take those boar. Let's repair the castle here. Thousand food, man. That's a lot. Let's build Keshix. Let's use this to sustain our economy a little bit more. Do I have my two siege towers out yet? Where are they at? There they are. Let's bring them down southeast. That one just got plenty of time ticking on it. And let's build some... Let's build some... Some, some rams, I guess. We need gold now. We're short on gold. Repair the tower. Any Unitex that we need? Doesn't really seem like it. We still need uh, the Cavalry Archer armor. Orange is sending us Kipchaks now. Now we need to, s to look for a way to uh, get to the Western team there. Try to send our light cavalry down southeast to see what they can do. Keep training more villagers. Go back onto stone. And have these rams take down that workshop. Let's build a couple more rams while we can afford them. Train more light cavalry. Much appreciate it. There you go. I don't need those. We will join you against Totamesh. Oh my gosh. So the Western team just joins me without even without even thinking about anything. Alright, I'll take it. And now I think the tides are permanently tipped in our favor now that we have three strong allies here. Let's keep making rams. Let's mix in a couple of onagers maybe. Let's repair that TC up. Get these villagers to come back to the, to the mill. Let's see where we can go. Tons of deer on this eastern side. And it looks like we can actually batter down this base pretty easily. Their wonder is fairly exposed. Man, we, we just one-shot that boar. Let's keep churning out Keshix. Let's actually uh, back off from this force. Let's uh, back up to this castle, in fact. There's a market there that we could disrupt. Let's go for it. Let's build some more rams. Let's build some more light cavalry. Build some more Keshix. Let's build mining camps in the eastern side where it's relatively safe. Oh man, our Mega now just did more damage to us than we could ever hope to do to them.
And Yellow's making a good push here on the south eastern side, actually. Let's continue utilizing this momentum. Expand east with our villagers. Think about producing some more villagers. Nice. Let's keep producing Keshiks, Cavalry Archers, and Light Cavalry we can. But now the advantage is firmly ours. Let's focus our efforts on killing the red castles. Bring in siege siege ramps to take them out. Still no idle villagers, which is good. Take what we can spare to help you with your battles. Undefended targets simply beg to be plundered. Hell yeah. get more villagers out and we're actually approaching our population cap here which is great for us not so great for our opponents you know what else is not great ram pathfinding looks like we're starting to lose some steam on the yellow side here That's the pop cap being hit for us. And honestly, Sarai looks like the strongest base. But we're gutting them pretty pretty in pretty short order here. Let's build a few more stables here. We're actually fairly short on wood. Let's put some more of our villagers on wood. Keep wreaking havoc on the red base here. Their Mayu die are good. I will give them that. But they don't really stand a chance when we have siege rams. Wonder is not even half done yet, and we're basically done getting red. Man, Red has tons of castles. Still doing good here. And I think uh, there's no real need for us to take out blue. I'd say if we just take out uh, red and green, we should be good, right? Uh, 
Let's make sure that we're using our entire army at the front here. Out of gold, unfortunately. We got tons of gold to spend. We don't lack gold, we actually lack every other resource here. Because we can't farm. There's our conics. <laughs> I just saw Orange's Manganel take out his own unit. Let's actually head east towards orange. No real need to go for green. It does look like uh, yellow does produce waves of units for us, which is good. Storehouses that we missed. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem so. Hey, but we can spare to help you with oh, the but the Bulgar is coming in clutch for us at the last second here. Let's keep investing in heavy siege equipment. I'm gonna try out scorpions. I normally don't, but why not in this case? Avoid this castle. So let's actually fight directly where the wonder is. I need to improve like my management of my army at a large scale. I feel like my clicks are pretty useless the majority of the time. I rely way too heavily on double clicking to select all my units on the map, but it's just not efficient micro at all. Let's have the Conix kill off that light cavalry. And finish off this wonder here. That's the wonder down. Perfect. Now we have more rams than we really know what to do with. We actually need more cavalry units. I heard it. I heard like a trebuchet creation noise. Surely that can't be right. It doesn't look like any of the enemies have murder holes on their on their side. 
which is fortunate for us, but unfortunate for them. Oh, and we actually have green cleaning up the western yellow base here. A sad sight to be sure, but uh, you know, it is what it is. Not all your allies will make it to the end, sadly. I don't foresee orange lasting much longer here. They're not even really producing units at this point. Once we knock out the last of their military buildings, they should fold. I think we got all the trade workshops. Unless there's like more on the west side here. Oh, there's one right there. Let's see if we can uh, snipe it. Orange is on their last legs. And yellow is actually boldly marching forward to attack green. I think that barracks is like their last meaningful production building. So once we take it out, orange should give up. Lots of fish to be had here. Much appreciate it. Let's keep spamming Keshiks, Cavalry Archers, Light Cavalry. Perfect. Any any betrayals here? No, no betrayals this time. Excellent. That makes me a happy lad. I'm getting kind of tired of getting backstabbed over and over again. And I see, oh, I kind of understand how the Italians are funding them now. They're just sending trade cogs over and over again. Over and over and over and over again. But truthfully, it's not all that bad. Like. It doesn't seem like the the bases were, were too overwhelming, except at the start. I think the important thing is, like, with levels that become kind of like spam fest like this, it's just really important to have a castle as a focal point of your defense. Uh, I can easily see, like, in the early game, if you don't rush up that castle, then your units will get overwhelmed. Now, I don't really think much of murder holes as a technology in multiplayer games, but I think in single player games, murder holes comes in really, really handy because uh, your castle becomes basically a, a super effective, uh, resource efficient combat unit that can uh, also serve as a unit production building. Fun level overall, the lack of food, um, if you're Making the right advancements, and also if you've got the food income from the uh, Bulgarians here early on, you should still be fine on food. I felt a little low in the initial goings on, and I had to research a lot of texts that required food, uh, but it was I was able to tide myself over with cav archers until uh, until the food income started rolling in. As for this southern force, I definitely feel like I could have used them more effectively. Uh, if I knew the map layout better, 
uh, I would have crushed red together with the northern force. Um, I would have taken care of these trebuchets a little bit better. As it is, I kind of just use them as a distraction. Um, I definitely 100% could micro them better. Um, so that was, that was just bad play by me. Also, this wonder is really not a threat. Uh, by the time it gets even remotely close to finishing, you should have already be well on your way to victory. You'd be able to kill them at your leisure. Nice. Raging fires, torrents of blood, piles of ash, the clash of iron, and the screams of the dying. This was a horrors that Tamerlane visited upon the cities and people of the Golden Horde. The cities of Ryazan, Sarai, Astrakhan, Azoth, and Ukek were reduced to rubble. All that remained, aside from the ruins, were the towers of bones that were built from the corpses of the dead. Those who survived were driven like sheep to march in unspeakable cold. Tuktamish had no choice but to flee west to Lithuania. Tamerlane was determined not to let the traitor escape, but word soon reached him of a rebellion within his homeland. Leaving the hunt in the hands of two of his generals, Tamerlane swiftly returned home to restore order. At the point This is incorrect. Yeah, zero zero units killed that game, guys. Zero units killed. Ooh. Dude, Ostrakhan, they got two units killed. Holy crap. This seems incorrect. Ah, that's kind of a shame. I was looking forward to looking at that. Looks like the economy score is still correct, though. Oh. Yeah, somehow these guys just were just getting tributes. They're getting more tributes than the Italian merchants could send. That's why they, that's why their scores were so high, or er, that's why their scores weren't high, but they could still produce units. Makes a lot of sense. But I got a lot of tribute too. I got tons of uh, food there. Cool. So that's the third level defeated. Next time we'll play the fourth one, Sultan of Hindustan. Till then, thanks for watching guys. My name's been the Clever Fool. I'll see you guys next time.